Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have leftover colors. And I am going to add some colors to them. And I'm thinking about adding them vehemently. Well, not that one evidently. Oh! Alright, we'll float some of that as well. And I really enjoyed some of this. Huh. And my white has gone somewhere. There we go. That'll work. It's basically a dirty four. And as long as I don't stir it, I might get lucky. And it might, really? And it might work out. Wow, things are a little messy today. I still want some orange in there. And I'm gonna put a little more white in because the white acts as a nice catalyst. And I think because my favorite color is calling me, it's a good idea to add that in there too. Now, what am I missing? There we go, the gold. So, no idea how this is going to go. I also forgot the orange. Yep. And who knows what's missing. So I'm going to add some black to this 14 by 14 inch canvas. And I really like it when my bigger bottle is full and I got to take a break after this and fix that. There, we've made an artwork. Sometimes I just love putting lines down. If you've seen the, the community board, you've seen the 60 by 48 I put there that the local ga gallery owner fell for that he's not getting his hands on anytime soon. But if you happen to be a millionaire and you want it for $50,000, you go ahead. Otherwise, I'm keeping it. I'm going to spread the black paint with my OXO omelet turning spatula. I have two sizes of these. I use them both. Actually, I have another one too because I'm making videos and it's nice to have a clean one, especially when sometimes I forget. Don't forget. <laughs> You've got to clean the paint off your spatula. That's why I keep a bucket handy to keep my spatula in. Now, the last painting I did had a nice layer of black paint, but I didn't make sure that it was even all the way across. I need the same amount of paint in one layer, and that's what this spatula is really good at. And that's what I need right now to add. Now the last painting I did was a 16 by 20, and I, I poured rings, lots of them, and I didn't tip because I didn't want to, but I have been thinking about it. I'm going to run my finger right down along the edge. If I just tap off the blade along my edge, I'll start to get runs, and then I have some coverage, which I can always fix later, but just because uh, I'm a little OCD, calls me every time I see a drip, I just got to run my finger through it, so that's going in the bucket. Now I've got my colors. I'm going to try and start with some orange. Please don't disappear on me, orange. I'm going to try and offset them and tip this. And probably on the diagonal, because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. Alright, so if I'm going that way, I kind of want to keep some continuity. I'm probably going to use an edge catcher. I'm not sure if that's my best plan or not. I'm going to keep dripping. <laughs> okay, I threw my plan out the window, but I've got great colors, so I'm not going to complain. And I might just have enough paint to do what I wanted to do anyway. I am loving my colors, though. I could just leave those alone pretty well. Let me put some orange in there and a couple of the other colors I just had, including the white. and make one more right there quickly. Now, because I see there's drops all over, I'm just going to continue that trend. Whether it's a good idea or not, we'll find out. What I really kind of want to do is something just like this and then drag my basting brush or my chain through it. I've got a little bit of paint in there and I got enough 
not worry about whether I use it or not. Boy, I just want to leave that right like it is. Darn. I'm going to move my colors out of the way, grab my edge catcher, and see how I feel about this. My whole original plan today was to, to try and put the rings on and see if I could rotate them all around, but I don't think they ever move evenly because it depends on how they fall. I'm bound to get something going over the edge at some point. I've never spaced them so far apart, and that's really was my intention of attempting to uh, space them much further apart. I just got to know if tilting them will allow that black space to stay between and me to still get what I want. Come on. So we're just going to keep being patient because we're so good at it. <laughs> Not really. But um, I love the colors, so I'm good. I'm going to squeeze that over the edge. And I'm going to keep tilting in all directions to see if I can fill up the space with the colors. Because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link. Below show more underneath the video. If you shop on my Amazon link, it's no added cost to you, and it helps me out. Ooh, yes. You know what? I see that I want something here, and I have just enough paint by using a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, also, coincidentally, available on the Amazon link. Below show more. Let's see if there's anything else I might want here. Let's just do that. And that. Yeah. Anything else? And that. That's not bothering me. I'm pretty much out of paint though. I used it all. Now what I was talking about in the last video was to go ahead and take a straw, if I can find it, and blow around in some of these and see how that works. I don't want to lose my orange though. So maybe I'll just blow on the smaller dots. See if we can fill some space and um, create some patterns too. I want some black in the spots where the canvas is showing. Really like to put a dot of black in there and see what happens when I blow on it too. I knew I could probably pop some cells, but I wasn't sure how it was going to look. I threatened some gold in the last one, and then I didn't do it. I still want some gold. And I think I'm going to give myself permission to add some in places. just a few here and there. But it might take some strategic delivery to get it just right. And I'm not sure how much time I have. I got a little time. You can actually make shapes happen quite nicely with your straw once you get a little prowess with that going. by just noticing where it goes. I also put some white pearl in my last one. Anyway, I'm liking this quite a bit. I don't think it's going to take me very much gold. Low into it and then next to it. And in theory, most of the time it will pop cells unless I'm not Boy, I keep pulling out skewers with more skewers attached to them today. That's fine. I think I like the fat ones with a ball of paint on the end best for pulling because they're less, less invasive. As long as my paint is wet, I can do that, which is kind of cool. I like having the marks in the gold. At least I did when I started. <laughs> I'll see in a minute. 
Yeah, I like the texture of that a lot. So I'm going to put some more gold in and blow it out. And then put texture into it. Because that also will move it more into the areas I want to fill. Sort of a wood grainy texture, which is kind of neat. I think I might like to try the pearl, and I'm not sure if that's it or not. I'm going to go for it. Whoa, that came screaming out of there. So that becomes mostly black and white, which isn't bothering me either much. And I could probably do that a few other places, but I'm nervous about it coming out too fast, so I'm going to put it right on the skewer. And then, if I'm lucky, just drip it down in between. Because I like the way that looks. And do I have some more? I could probably use a, a, a container. Whoops. <laughs> to dip that into, but it's not ready, so I'm not going to go looking for it right now. But I do like that a lot. And I'm going to do it again, and I see where I want it to go. And then I got a quick like a bunny torch. So just waggle that skewer around in there, dragging your white paint with you. And you add all kinds of new interest. Can probably lay down, well, maybe, <laughs> lay down your skewer and let the residuals attach themselves to the surface if they're willing. It's somewhat of a risk. I will have some edges to touch up. I think a little more gold right here. It's really important how fast this comes out. Let's see if I can do the same thing with the gold I can with the white. Yeah, and I can. Just use the skewer to drag it. Making little fills, which is pretty cool. I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking it more as I work on it. After you're gone, I'm going to fill in the black on my edges. And uh, if it's still wet enough, the color that's falling down over will, will help fill in there. I see I have one more over here. Do I want that gold? Yes, I do. So that black makes things pop, and the colors between make a very different texture that I'm really happy with. It's some kind of weird mosaic, and that's cool. I'm good with that. I'm just going to use the side of my skewer and roll it so that it covers that edge right there. And that's pretty well it. So I'm going to try and remember what I'm supposed to tell you because I actually have time to tell you this time. There are Facebook groups. If you're looking for one for students, if you're new at this, we, uh, we get together at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. That's for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors, people who might like to purchase my artwork. Uh, Expressionist Art Studio Totes.